And I'm here to give my review of Dragon Ball Z Kai, episode 153. Now, if I seem a bit tired, it's because I've had a long day, and it's about almost 90 degrees outside, so, yeah, bear with me. So, as we left, last left off, uh, Goku was fighting Kid Buu, and things weren't turning out, out in his favor. As, uh, they keep going blow for blow, but Kid Buu gets to the point where he's rather just screwing around with Goku even more than he was before. And Goku realizes that he's underestimated Kid Buu this whole time. And... Yeah, he, he just can't keep up with him anymore. And... Uh, Vegeta says that uh, only he, he uh, Goku, can defeat uh, Kid Buu and it, he'll give him the one minute he, time he needs to charge up a final attack to uh, destroy Kid Buu, or at least that's how he thinks he can handle them. And I wanted to go back to what I was saying, what I think I might have said in the last video, that I like that Vegeta was finally admitting that he could never surpass Goku and he found out why. And I feel that that was a huge, huge development for him. And uh, I know that Battle of Gods and uh, Fukatsu and OF have been trying to make it that Vegeta could still stand up part of Goku. But I really don't want him to surpass him at any point because that would kind of destroy the development that was set in Boo Saga, which I felt was perfect because it was Vegeta letting go of his pride. Uh, but enough about that kind of mini small rant. And uh, we go to that to Vegeta going Super Saiyan 2 and trying to fight Kid Buu. And considering that Kid Buu, uh, while just toying around, can keep up with a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta does not fare any better. He just keeps throwing a bunch of key blasts, which do really nothing, really. And Vegeta really hates how Kid Buu is just toying with all of them. And Kid Buu proceeds to uh, pwn Vegeta so easily. Even going to so far as to kick Vegeta in the dick. So yes, Team Four Star, you get right on that. We need that kick into the dick joke with Vegeta again. And, uh, Kid Buu just starts to, uh, strangle and electrocute, uh, Vegeta, and he gets ready to kill him, until Mr. Satan arrives and provokes Kid Buu, and he still think that it's all a dream. And it's gonna be, uh, proved to be very foolish of thinking that in the next episode. So, yes, that was pretty much it. All in all, great, this had a lot of great fights, and it really shows how uh, the Saiyans, uh, Goku and Vegeta, really are starting to grasp the situation there, and as they clearly underestimated Kid Buu, uh, thinking uh, that just because he was smaller than Super Buu, uh, the original Super Buu, not Buu Han and Buu Tanks, uh, that they could take him, which it was clearly wrong, as he's more powerful than Super Buu. And it really was nice seeing how, just how sadistic and savage Kid Buu could be fighting. And, uh, it, it, I have a begrudging respect for Mr. Saiyan for standing up to Kid Buu while he was almost killed Vegeta. So, all in all, a great episode. And, next video, I'll be either putting up videos of Dragon Age Inquisition, J Jaws of Hakon, or the next episode of Game of Thrones. We'll see where that goes. Catch you guys later.